Uh, so I made one free transfer uh, on Sunday, uh, the, the Morgan Gibbs White sale, which I think what's really important to add on why I was absolutely convinced in, in terms of doubling down on selling Morgan Gibbs White after Friday night and not worrying about these two future single game days for us. So guys, I was sitting there with not the best night in a Forest asset, which had we known it and his fitness prior to game week one, many of us would have probably started with Tybo Awanyi. Who's obviously scored? What is it? Eight consecutive Premier League games or yeah. something? He scored yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So He's on a great run. I'm I'm looking at coming back potentially to him when those yep. single game days come round. Effective when it does. When Forest do play Brentford, there's a, a effective five for one over Chelsea um, with the Burnley captaincy. Then Man City away, fine two points, whatever, and then Brentford. Because obviously Chelsea play on. Uh, oh no, they don't. It's it's no, yeah, they do. They play the day before at Bournemouth, don't they? And then they've got the Monday night fixture at Fulham. So I'm kind of looking at at the moment as he's I wouldn't use the exact same price as Colwell. So if I decide to go down that route, by the way, I think Gannon Bumo is absolutely fine. You look at them fixtures coming up: Palace, Bournemouth, and Everton all at home in the next four. Gives you potential cover for captaincy if you get into a sticky point for Sunday the 17th when they go to Newcastle. And then obviously you've got the, the Forest game after that as well. And there's another home game with Burnley. A couple after that and then you can move it on to something else if you want to, if you don't like it anymore. So yeah, I think going and Bumo is absolutely fine. I yeah, know, I mean, I know there's still an, a few weeks away. So uh, I say a week away, it's a week and a bit away. So There's a number of people to started with him and be pretty, pretty happy with that. We knew he was going to be on pens. Mm-hmm. I think the big difference with him now as well is he, he's kind of more of a 90 minute man now yeah, rather than a 70, 75 minute man. So with the additional time, you're potentially looking at an extra 20 minutes every week. So I'll kind of over every five potentially looking at a kind of an extra game roughly or so um i had the choice of selling morgan gives white of any chelsea player because of the way i'd set up so i the choice i went for was tiago silva who uh, was just under 100 passes again at the weekend that, that was kind of primarily off of little bits of concerns on colwell's positioning which i think is even stronger now because 100 percent that was left back against west ham but he was only just underneath again so there's nothing to say in these kind of easier on paper fixtures coming up that Colwell won't hit past and tears. So I decided to take that route rather than a Nicholas Jackson route, just in case I decided to buy another forward. And the reality was I'd seen him in one game against Liverpool. It wasn't enough for me to make a decision. Whereas with Thiago, almost like the Rodri Foden thing, I, kn- yep. I know what I'm getting. Yep. I know what I'm getting. If I go down that route, uh, I'm invested. And that's that's clearly a better captaincy choice for Friday rather than Colwell because Thiago Silva will hit Parsons here. That's almost a certainty Friday night. You have to put it in the context of uh, price though as well, right? Yep. Because obviously Thiago Silva's is uh, is actually not that much more than Jackson. Okay, I thought there was a bit more of a, a jump, 8.5 versus 8.2. Yeah, he's not on radar be- for many because... I thought be- Thiago Silva would be in the nines. Well, he's not on radar for most because most have obviously got Colwell, yeah. I guess. Or not, yeah. not most, Colwell but obviously like a decent size. He's not the ex- an explosive asset, but he doesn't feel like a problem that people need to fix right now. If you've got him, you leave him in there for yeah, the yeah. next few. Yeah, absolutely that. I mean, you'd at least have another look Friday night at an absolute minimum. I've mentioned about that idea of taking the Luton Forest Bournemouth games and then maybe turn that into Awan Yee for the effective five for one and then chain that on to perhaps going back to another Chelsea. I'd mentioned the importance of that Chelsea-Burnley game landing quite early on the weekend and match week eight and it has landed on the Saturday and there's a load of good movements off of Chelsea when they play Burnley to the next day. City, Arsenal, Liverpool, Newcastle, there's loads of entries. Possibly, ironically, despite the fact that they're playing Manchester City, it might be the right time to add a little Arsenal actually, purely because of the captaincy day against Sheffield United, which is a couple of weeks later because that would really be your entry point if you landed there with no Arsenal. So, difference between me and you this week, essentially, so it's 20 points, Captain Martinez. Did cap- you get 69 points this week, did you? I did, yeah, stop laughing. Okay. Uh, and I captain Saliba. Yeah. And, where my passing tier points, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> because the game ended and I think he was on 58 or 59, despite being on about 45 at half time. Obviously, the red card had a big yeah, influence yeah. on that. But, um, yeah, overnight he did change to 61 passes. He's not had the passing tier added yet. I'm going to assume at this stage that he probably won't do. No. Um, probably by the time this goes out, maybe it's been added. So there could be possibly be a little bit more on it. That's a little 
concerning for the game that that's not been updated as yet. Uh, as said, I had Salah as well. So plans for this week, for me, I think centre around Manchester City. So Getting more. Yeah, so I've got Rodri and Haaland in place, which is obviously absolutely fine. And there, there is no requirement to add more. Any Obviously, with Haaland sitting there, anything I add more is not for a captaincy purpose. But there's a good run of fixtures coming up. Sheffield United away, Fulham at home, West Ham away, Forest at home, Wolves away before that now Super Sunday trip to Arsenal on October the 8th. And other than the Sheffield United game, there's no entry for them really, mate. Because value-wise... Yeah, it's a fair point. The only other one is obviously from Luton or West Ham after the Friday night game. And from a value perspective, unless you've got real money sitting about in the, the bank to move... Maybe if you've got a bow in, it might be an easy one to add City player, perhaps when City play Fulham on the Saturday. Otherwise, it's going to be a difficult one to turn a Luton or West Ham player into a Manchester City player. If you want more, it's this Sunday. And you see the team as well. 